Hi, Soul Survivors. We're going to talk about AI, also narcissism, and the future of this world. So AI, artificial intelligence, is extremely fast growing. And uh, with the mental challenges that we have in the world, also what is reality? We dealt with our narcissist. Our sense of reality is already skewed. Now we have AI that is just blowing up. Uh, I've seen it grow. Like even just the last month, everything is just uh, fascinating. There's uh, some like animal pictures that seem really real. Uh, I saw this one today. It was about an owl. And you could tell by the way that the legs were that it wasn't an owl. It had like four claw paws it was kind of interesting but there was another one it was a cat and it kind of blew up the internet it seemed extremely real just something different about it like super exotic but it turned out to be false so there's still fact checking the thing with ai is it takes the opinions of the world and brings it together also we have to be aware of what our mind does i was seeing this little shorts clip where uh it said watch out for the red flags but it actually said watch out for the red red flag so she was in her car there was some um distraction with the words and you read we're used to reading pretty quickly so i even read it and i skipped uh, the second red, because uh, I think I skipped the first red, to be honest with you, <laughs> but our mind does things like that. What is expected and what flows? We fill in things. Uh, I have a child that I'm tutoring after school that may be dyslexic, and they had this one little thing of this is what it's like if you're dyslexic and it had like half the letters and it was just, you know, sentences with half letters and you got to try to figure it out. There's also things where um, IDAGF and you're like, oh, I know what that means. I don't give a fuck um, that we just figure it out. Even if you've never seen it, some things we can do that. Or if you leave the vowels out, you're still able to read words even without the vowels, as long as you had the front and the back of it. So this AI, um, it's a, compilation of everybody in the world and their opinions and since it's so new I'm still doing research on it but the scary part of it is I've noticed um, a lot of YouTubers that are in my niche uh, that the um, the narcissist the self-aware narcissist are you know out beating me <laughs> but it's it's like um, they uh get a, a lot of the audience and I get it it's a different perspective I can understand their perspective um but the fact is is if they are into themselves they like seeing themselves on camera that they're gonna post more or um say the right things or even know the topics but uh as far as um let's say it's a pretty girl okay and she's just like no fuck that he needs to buy me a house if he wants to get back together with me or fuck that he needs to give me roses he if he doesn't take me out to a five-star re uh, restaurant so this is the compilation on people who post so i might post things like if he would just talk to me i'd be happy or if he would just you know let me make him dinner so these are all these opinions and the people that post more on average, not everybody, I post a lot, um, but you know, your Instagram models, things like that, where they're posting everything, everything they eat and everything, um, I flushed the toilet today, um, that they're probably going to have more of an influence on AI, on the compilation. So um, that's where I get worried about where this is going and how people we skip those red flags like the red red flags our mind just kind of skims we're a little trusting we uh are in an expectation mode we weren't expecting to be fooled and i also saw uh 10 magic tricks um of uh, types of magic tricks and they uh said i can't remember the words they used but um you know, the uh, presenting it and taking it away and uh, switching it, things like that. So he's going through and number 10, he says whatever it is. And he's like, and you probably didn't realize that I switched the color of my shirt. And he did it. He did like a balloon thing. And 
it changed his shirt, but that was like number five or six. So our mind is looking at certain things, but they're not looking at the full picture. And that's where we get caught up in missing red flags that our brain is trying to weed out what we don't need to know. So here right now, you tomorrow are probably going to say, she said this, and this resonated with me that I thought it was bullshit. Whatever it is, you guys are going to think you're going to think, but you're not going to be like, oh, she had a teal tank top and then it switched to pink or, or was she wearing earrings or a necklace tonight? So our mind is trying to get the message, but when it comes to AI, that I see people falling in love uh, with inanimate objects. I saw this whole write-up on uh, somebody married the Eiffel Tower, and I, I don't know how they can do that. Uh, I don't think they're legal marriages. I think they're a piece of paper. Um, you know, I had one I read where the person had an actor or actress be the preacher and it was the cat was going to die so I wanted to marry the cat um, but there was somebody married a stone uh, a bridge Eiffel Tower I can't remember the a tree uh, so people want to have this connection so much that they're marry, marrying a rock they can keep it with them you know, but is that reality? Like we're starting to get so far away from reality. Another thing I saw too, and I'm not going to judge people if they're gay, uh, lesbian, whatever they are, but it was this one uh, guy who said that he um, spent the night with a girl. She goes by she, her. And um, then at the end of the night, you know, found out it was a guy. So since they identify as she, her, even though they have male body parts and he is not gay, that they're trying to justify everything to make everything fit the agenda for whatever works for them. So the reality is, you know, uh, they had male body parts. Um, they might identify, but that's a subject I'm, I have a podcast coming up on. Um, so uh, with the AI, the compilation of everything, the um, ideas that what is reality anymore? Like, we don't even know what a man and woman is. Um, you know, I have my opinions, you have your opinions. Some of it is the definition. There's a confusion between gender and sex that um, depends on which definition you go by. Um, but the, the AI is going to pull from society. And right now we are in such a transition. I'm 52 years old. I have never seen such a transition so quickly um, on confusion and separation that the more outspoken um, is probably going to rise to... Uh, what society um what ai sees and, and this is where i get scared is let's say people love to google things so they're going to be able to ai they're going to be able to google an ai program that they can ask you know how do i get them to i i see a lot of manipulation things coming you know that people are going to ask you know how do i make sure he what would be a good lie to get a, a believable lie and you know we're going to get information on things that worked because people post those things or how do criminals get away with things that the information um is is scary on what we're going to be able to understand now i know how many aspirin you need to kill yourself and i will never tell anybody that and you know i was watching uh, i believe well, i'm not even gonna tell you what show it was because <laughs> i don't want you googling it um but they you know they had said it and i also have a background in nursing i have a background in everything you'll realize that with me um a lot of schooling but you know there's certain things you just don't tell people on how to achieve something that shouldn't be achieved um but they said it on national television. And it's like, what are you doing? 
you know, they're saying that this is wrong. And then they say it, that people don't understand sometimes when to hold back on information that could be to a detriment of somebody, but that's out there now. And with people sharing even what they eat, uh, there was a person on Facebook, this was before pot was legal, marijuana, uh, and look at what look at what my sweetie got me. And it, I don't even know how much it was. I don't smoke that stuff, but probably half to an ounce or whatever. It was a good amount. Um, so she had that. She had, uh, I want to say it was one other illegal thing, but she's posting illegal stuff. Like, look how lucky I am. We're going to go tote down. Um, and, you know, people don't always do the wisest things. So with the decisions that people make, the things that people post, um, AI picks up on that. And, you know, the people who struggle emotionally, it could be depression. You know, you're going to get a lot of fuck this, fuck you um, negativity. And I get it. We're hurt, um, you know, uh, but it's filling AI's uh, information bank with negativity. And, you know, the world doesn't care about you type stuff. And uh, we're transitioning um, from how I was raised to how I raised my daughter to now another generation. And you see that a lot of um, parents and children have problems, not all, but it seems like the generations are starting to get further and further apart that we are seeing a lot more pain, a lot more um, coddling and distance. Um, it's, it's real confusing. Uh, I'm working the school system and, you know, on what works, what doesn't. And it's almost like a no-win situation um, that we're going to struggle through and we're going to get through it. But the AI pulls from society. That's why I'm scared. You know, um, it's not all scholarly people and i just saw today that um our uh mass shootings are the highest they've been since i can't remember but a long time and you know uh there's a lot more separation going on that uh everybody wants to be seen as special which I understand. They want to be seen as special so they can fit in. It's weird um, how how they feel by separating that they're going to be included. Um, and I can give you guys examples if you comment below because uh, I got some good examples, but I don't know if I want to post it unless you guys ask for them because they can be controversial. So moving on with AI and narcissism that is on the rise. That's what's going to feed us. And, and it's fascinating the things that we can do with AI, artificial intelligence. There's so many cool things, so many cool things. But we have a lot of corrupt people in the world. And corruption is going to infect the information pool and the people that want to get their agenda out there are very outspoken, very outspoken. And that's going to add to uh, the, the balance. You know, 95% of people say this or 95% of posts say this and 5% say this or whatever the balance is. So just be aware of it, protect yourself and you know, be careful about AI. They can clone words. And there was a thing about this lady whose daughter, uh, they took her voice and she was screaming for help. 
and then uh, a man was saying, I'm going to lay her down, this, that, um, and threatening. It was just a short clip, but it scared the mom to death. And it sounded like her daughter. Now you can say, well, she should know. Her daughter should be in the room. But, you know, if my daughter was at school and then I'm talking on the only phone I have, because a lot of us, I have two phones, but a lot of us only have one phone that how am I going to call if somebody's threatening my daughter's life? How am I going to call the school? I can email them maybe if I get on my computer, but I've been getting a lot. It could be because I was looking at a mortgage, but I've been getting so many calls that hang up on you. And if it was for the mortgage stuff, you'd think they'd want to say something like, hey, we'd like to offer you this. So people uh, can pull your voice. They can pull my voice from this, um, you know, on YouTube. And you got to be careful about the catfishing that is going on. Uh, what was the, I wanted to do a video on this, uh, uh, the, the actual cybergenic, I think it's called cybergenic. That's the uh, voice that I was talking about with the mother daughter situation that that is something that AI can take advantage of, you know, and there was Tom Brady, who there was comedians using his voice. And they did say it was uh, a simulation. And they ended up dropping the case. Because uh, he would, I think they might have he would they they sent a cease and desist and i think they did but they could probably win that in court so they could repost because it is a, simu a simulation um it could get technical cuz they did use his voice but you can they're saying that they impersonated him just like you have elvis impersonators well that's an impersonator as long as they, you know i could dress up like who knows? And <laughs> pretend I'm Jessica Simpson or whoever. And it's like, okay, but we know that's not her. She said it's not. But it's interesting too. Dolly Parton had lost a Dolly Parton lookalike <laughs> contest. <laughs> she lost her own contest. Isn't that crazy? So world's a crazy place. And we're going to get the, through this together. If you guys have any concerns about AI, I don't mind doing more research on it because it is fascinating. There are things that I want to use AI for because it can make life a lot easier. But I am also very scared on the data collection and where it's going to go. So comment below on some of your thoughts about AI, artificial intelligence. I'm real. I promise. I'll see you soon.